guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a sit down video and go over all of my favorite Amazon things that I've been loving within the past month or so. Um, I noticed that most of my Amazon purchases recently have been home things. So let me know if you guys wanna see a second edition of this that is all centered around home things like faucets and doorknobs and fans, things like that, that I've ordered um, from Amazon. My house is very modern this time around. So if you guys wanna see affordable home um, pieces from Amazon, let me know in the comment section down below. But for now, I'm just going to show you the random things that I've been loving. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so the first thing that I'm going to share is a home decor piece. I actually saw um, Sierra Furtado talk about this here on YouTube. It is this cute book called Travel Home. I love the cover. I love this surfboard. This is such a vibe. This is such a house vibe. Um, exactly what I'm going for. So I thought this would be a great book to kind of set on my entryway table with a candle or on my coffee table. Um, when Sierra posted it, I clicked her link and I noticed that this book was like 40 something dollars. Um, so I decided to look it up on Amazon and I realized that Amazon sells used books for a fraction of the price. So I was able to pick this up for 20 bucks. I mean, there is a little bit of wear on it, but honestly, it's just going to sit on an entryway table with a candle on it. So I thought it was a great value. Um, so if you guys didn't know that, Amazon sells used books for a fraction of the price. So if you're a student or you're an avid reader, that is a great way to uh, get affordable books. The next thing is this Folex. I don't know if I'm new to this, but this has been a lifesaver. Our backyard is not landscaped yet, so Zoe's little paw prints end up everywhere on our sofa. So this stuff, I literally just spray it. I don't dab it. I don't do anything and the stain is gone. Um, when I heard of this, I actually used it to my benefit. So before we ordered our sofa, I got a giant swatch and I tested it with a red lipstick. I sprayed this on the swatch and the red lipstick came out. That is how I determined which fabric I was using for my sofa. So this has been a lifesaver for all the hosting I'm going to be doing with babies and dogs and all the things. So. If you guys have little ones or pets, I highly recommend this. The next thing is this really pretty candle. It comes in a two pack. This is in the scent Fresh Linen. Um, this is by the brand Lulu Candles. It's a soy candle and it smells good. Just very subtle, but what I liked about it is the packaging. It's very just plain and modern. Um, I love Bath and Body Works candles. I, I freaking love them. I go to the sale every year. I place orders often, but I hate the packaging when it's so busy. I don't know if I'm just extra like that, but let me know if you guys feel the same way. The next thing is these glass straws. They are by the brand High Wear, and they come in a couple different types. They come with the cleaner but they're just glass straws that you drink out of. And you can, what I like about these is you can see through them. So um, I used to use the steel ones all the time, but after, after some time, they started to get like a really bad taste in them. And then you couldn't really see if they were clean. So I love these because they're dishwasher friendly. There, there are other ones in here that have like the curve, um, but yeah, they're dishwasher safe and you actually can tell if they're clean or not. It also comes with a little brush to clean them. The next drink related thing is this kettle. Oh my gosh, it is the prettiest baby pink kettle. It works so well for heating up tea or water for oatmeal or anything like that. I really wanted the baby pink smeg one so I went on a, hug, a hunt to find the dupe and this little guy is just so perfect. I um, It comes with a little portal that you just set it on. You click this down and you have hot water in 20 seconds. I actually gifted this to a couple people too because it is just such a good thing. You really don't know that you need it until you have one. The next cup thing is this re, um, like one-time cup. I know we need to be better about um, 
plastic use. And if you watch any of my other hauls, you know that I am a sucker for a good reusable cup. I have a whole cabinet in my house filled with reusable hydro flasks and Yetis and all the things. But sometimes when you're hosting and you know, someone wants an iced coffee or a to-go drink, these are just convenient. So I don't use them often. They're not an everyday thing for me, but when you need something to go and um, you don't want to give away a cup, this has been a lifesaver. So it does not come with the straw. They're two separate products, but this does come with a lid. It's like a hundred pack for $8 or something crazy like that. So I will link them down below in case um, you guys too are interested in these cups. The next thing is this mat. So it is a heat resistant mat. It comes in a bunch of different colors. And what's nice about this is it's super thin and you can also use it as a brush cleaner. There are these fun little waves in it that cause friction in your brushes. So if you wanna use this to clean your brushes in the sink, it's a two in one. Um, I have not used it for that, but I know people that have. Um, this comes in different colors and it works really, really well. And it's so slim that you can just stick it in a drawer and it's not going to take up a bunch of space. The next um, beauty related thing is this Indian healing clay. I seriously love that stuff or love this stuff. It's, um, I've used it a few times now and I don't know if it's because of the masks and you know, you wearing them eight hours a day, but I'm getting like little bumps right here and here. And I noticed that using this at the end of the week and just giving my skin a little break from the mask and really clarifying it and then putting this mask on has really been a game changer. It is a little bit of a pain to like mix it and do all of that, but once you get the measurements right, it, it does become easier. I just have a couple more things. Next thing is a pet item. So if you're a dog mama like me, this pet cup is a must. So what I like about this is you can fill it up with fresh water, you push the button, and the water comes out. Once your pup is done drinking, you push the, water, the button again and tilt it back and it fills it back up with water. So I can't even tell you how many of those little collapsible dog bowls we've gone through. You forget them, You this fits in a cup holder, could fit in a side pocket of something. Um, they get everything wet. So once the dog's done with the water, then you're holding around this cup or you have to get rid of the water. So. This is just genius. It comes in a bunch of different colors and sizes. This is a smaller size because I have a small dog who's right here. But um, yes, this has been a game changer. Every time we're out at the beach or somewhere, I always get a bunch of questions about this. So I thought I would share. Okay, you guys, so my camera is flashing right now. It's about to die, but I really wanted to share with you guys this little fan. It's a handheld fan and you push the button. There's multiple settings. You can charge it by a little USB charger so there's no batteries needed and it is so nice when you set setting spray on your face and your face is like drenched in setting spray you literally just use this and you dry your face off or if it's hot it comes in multiple colors this has been a game changer it, I do not travel without it it goes in my makeup bag um, I I love this. I will rebuy it over and over again. So ladies, this is a must have for when you're getting ready. Alrighty guys, so my camera died, but the last, well, the second to last thing that I wanted to mention is this dry brush. I really love it for exfoliating my skin, my legs, especially before I do self tanner. Um, it really has helped the texture in my skin. I used to get really bad bumps on my arms and I realized that it was um, because of an almond intolerance. So when I stopped eating them, I still kind of had the bumps, but they were definitely going away. This has really helped like clear up my skin there and just really helped shed a lot of the dead skin now that it's summer and, um, you know, being out in the sun really dries you out. So I have loved, loved, loved this. The uh, only thing that I'll say is make sure you keep it in a really dry place because once it gets any moisture at all, it just... I don't know if it loses its strength or just becomes a little bit more flexible and you really want something firm to work into the skin. So I would just recommend keeping it in a drawer and don't hang it in your shower and just avoid getting it wet. So that's that. And then the very last thing that I wanted to mention is this spa style headband. It is super cute. It is by the brand Kitsch. 
It has a Velcro strap and then a little hole for your ponytail. I'll insert a clip here of me wearing it with my face mask, my Egyptian face mask. So that is everything guys. That's everything that I wanted to mention. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what types of videos you guys want to see and if you want to see an Amazon home video part two. So I'm so happy to be back and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.